I already know some of the point dexters in the comments down below are going to be like, well, Rich Lex, technically, it's a different formula. It may look like similar colors due to the atoms and nucleus, but however, it are very different colors due to saturation in the air. Girl, bye, okay? Proves in the put in the house, girl. Get it together. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Oh my gosh. I went to Sephora, girl, and I picked up the brand new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna makeup palette. And seriously, like, like, come here, like, I got the last one, girl. Yes, ma'am. There was this girl, and she was like, oh, I think I want, like, girl, pff, snatched that thing, went straight to the register, not bother, girl. She sat there, and she was like, and I was like, ha! Girl, bye, beat you to it. You're sitting there thinking about buying it. I already bought it. And yes, I am going to be giving away this palette. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna announce the winner to the last giveaway I did with the Elvira Spooky Makeup Palette. So if you enter that contest, stay tuned for the end of this video. So here's the palette right here. Oh my God, it's so sparkly, so cute. All you have to do to enter this giveaway for this palette is smash that like button and comment down below, Galaxy Girl. And please be subscribed. It's a happy place here. Or open up this palette and swatch it and give you my thoughts about it. I freaking use some of my points at Sephora. I know I never use my points, girl. But I was like, you know what? They had something that was so cute sitting there. And I was like, you know, and I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. So I'm gonna open it, paper, paper. So this is mine, I'm not gonna give this away, girl. I use my points for this. This is what I got, it's a Sephora Beauty Insider. I'm pretty sure it's at your Sephora too. You open it up and ooh, I haven't seen it like, this is my first time opening this with you. This is a little paper, there's nothing down there. So it's a cute little bag and you open it up and here it is. It's, and in the back of it, it says Sephora Beauty Insider. And it has these little polka dots, very like Kate Spade, you know what I'm saying? Boy in the eighth grade. So it says, wake up to makeup, and you just put like your jewelry or your keys. And I thought it was pretty cute. Now, if you drop it, it will break, because I think it's like ceramic glass, but it's not plastic. So it's just really cute. I got it because I really love black and white. It's my aesthetic. And it comes with this little cute box. So definitely, if you're a fan of Sephora like I am, you would definitely want to pick this up if you have enough points 250 points okay girl so i am gonna open up this palette with you and i'm super excited oh my gosh we're gonna see what's inside spooky palette is wrapped in this little extra little box here and you just i'm gonna pop that open and i am going to be honest with you i applied some of the makeup here 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 and in here and i'll show you the colors as we go along so right off the bat the first thing i don't like is if you're like kind of like ocd like me look at all these fingerprints it looks like oil almost but you will get fingerprints on here and it kind of looks like this too because from the oils of my skin i was using a makeup remover wipe and some of that wetness probably got on here too it so just keep that in mind it's not a palette that you could keep perfectly clean because it is going to attract oils and fingerprints so i'm wiping it right now and you can see it looks a lot better that way see that Ooh. so it definitely looks like a crescent jewel it just looks so amazing now this palette, some of the names on here are very like outer space, galaxy type names. I'm gonna read you some of the names. You got Extraterrestrial, Planet X, Milky Way, Sublime, Lightyear, Ultraviolet, Ozone, Cosmic Ocean, Mars on Fire, Midnight Bolt, Meteor Crust, Sunset, and Jupiter Sand. That's just the name of, I really like the name Jupiter Sand. Oh my God, we gotta swatch that one first, okay? So I really do like the names of it. They're really cool and creative. So if you're like a galaxy girl like me, you're gonna love this freaking palette. Okay. So, um, as always, this is, I don't know if this is the best palette in the world. I don't know if it's the worst, so we'll find out together. Um, as you can see here, it is very holographic, very shimmery. It seems to be the trend with this line of makeup is very, with that kilowatt highlighter, it's very that. Okay, so we're gonna open it together. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so here we go. This is a real life, this is what it looks like. You can see some of the colors. Okay, so let's begin the swatches. So that we're not confused, the actual colors kind of, yeah, they do match up exactly. So I'll read the name and I'll swatch. And so you can see that there, they kind of do match up. Sometimes brands don't do that and it looks kind of the same. But as you can see here, this is what I don't like already is they don't look the same. So this pink here in the corner looks very vibrant. And then here on, in reality is not as vibrant. Um, the same thing up here with some of the browns on top. And see this green right here? Just as a side note, 
I kind of accidentally mixed in a little black in there. And so that's why it looks like that. So all the colors are pretty much true to what you see here, except this one, which is like a really lime green type color is gonna, it's still gonna be lime green, just had like a little bit of darkness in there, just my own fault. So judge me kindly, please. The palette feels very hefty and heavy. What I do not like about the palette and this is a personal preference. Like it doesn't bend all the way back. Like I would palettes to just bend all the way back so I could use it. Uh, no, it's it's not gonna go all the way back. It's pretty much gonna stop right here. So it does kind of make it difficult to hold in the hand. So you would have to just hold it like this, right? So first we're gonna swatch Jupiter Sand. And here we go. Check that out. You can see it has a shimmer in it. And you're gonna see a trend with a lot of that in this palette. So I'm just gonna blend it in here. And it feels very smooth, very silky, and this is a really good transitional color, I can see that. But if you're a girl who doesn't like a lot of shimmer, I don't think this palette would be for you, but just giving you a heads up. Okay, so next we're gonna try out Sunburst right here. Here is Jupiter Sand right there. Here is Sunburst right here. And we're gonna swatch right in here. <gasps> Come on, copper, make a tutorial, copper. Nikki tutorials, I feel like talk like that. Look, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Manny Amy Wayne has copper eyelids. You're gonna be shook to the world. All right, so this color right here is called Space, that little purpley color. And we're gonna put this right in here. It's like a, almost looks like violet-y. Ooh. Come on. Clock at the house, girl, look at that. All right, so this blue right here is called Midnight Bolt, and I'm gonna grab that, and we'll put this right in here. Boom. Come on. That is a beautiful freaking color. I really do like the way that looks. I feel like it just really pops and stands out a lot. I should have used that blue here, but I didn't. So this blue right here is called Cosmic Ocean. And let me see, and it's right here. I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my thumb and I'm gonna give it a little swatch for you. And we'll put that right in here. So you can see that, um, you can see that there. And then you can see it here on my face is a better, um, it's a better view of it. I layered it a lot, and so it really gets that color to amplify. So that's Cosmic Ocean there, and here it is here. Okay, so next color is right here. It's called Mars on Fire. I'm gonna grab that, and we'll put this right in here. I would think it, I was hoping it would be. I was hoping it would be more red tone, but it just kind of shows up kind of pink. Let me intensify the color there for you, but. Yeah, that one's a little bit of a letdown. I just want it to be more red. I think when it comes to making eyeshadows, I think red is very hard to be. A lot of times the reds will end up being more orange or more pink. And as you can see here, it's more pink. But I love a good pink, don't get me wrong. I just was expecting orange because of the name Mars on Fire. So I was thinking, you know, red. And okay, so this one right here is called Meteor Crush. It's a really cool name. And we're gonna put this right in here. I'm running out of space on my hand, oh my gosh. All right, and here's what it looks like there. So you can see it kind of complements that one. So here it is, this is Mars on Fire and Meteor Crush. So you can see there's a slight resemblance between the two. They almost look identical to me. This, it's just, those two colors just fit me very odd. So here's Mars on Fire and here's Meteor Crush. See the slight difference, but yeah, okay. I already know some of the point dexters in the comments down below are gonna be like, well, rich leg, technically it's a different formula. May look like similar colors due to the atoms and nucleus, but however, it are very different colors due to saturation in the air. Girl, bye, okay? Proves in the put in the house, girl, get it together. We're gonna grab this green color and give it a swatch on this hand. All right, so here we go, boom. Very nice, it looks kind of like very minty color. I do like that color a lot. Okay, so next up is this color right here and that's named Milky Way. And we're gonna put Milky Way right in here. Now this color, I like. Ooh, I wish I would've put it here in the corners. You see it right there, I love it so much. This I think is my favorite color out of this whole thing. I do like Milky Way a lot, I don't know why. I just like that color a lot. So next up is gonna be ultraviolet. So I'm thinking kind of purple color for this one. So let's go ahead and swatch it right here. You can see that. Cool, cool, cool. What do you guys think about this one? Looks like almost like a, almost looks like a, 
Girl, I'll be scared to use this one because it looks like I just got a bruise or something. That's how plum purple it is. So next up is this color right here called Ozone. I think you might like this one a lot. But guess who decided to join us today, girl? Caitlyn, girl. Caitlyn, the skeleton girl, decided to come on out for the swatch video, girl. She's right here hanging out with us. All right, Caitlyn, here we go. This is Ozone. Very much the same. It complements these right here. It is on that side of the palette as well. You can see that. Ooh, come on. I think you could possibly use it as highlights too. What? What'd you say, Caitlin? Better than Morphe? Hell yeah, this is, looks better than Morphe, girl. Come on, Caitlyn, clock at the house. Okay, girl, so this is the one I told you about. Extraterrestrial is the one I kind of like messed up because I mix a little bit of black in there on accident. So we're gonna put this right here, but you can kind of see the greenness peeking through. I kind of almost made my own color a little bit, but yeah, you see the green, it is kind of dark, cause I did put, I did mix a little black in there, but I do think that's a really cool color. This next color right here is called Light Year, and I'm gonna put that right in here. Boom. So this color right here is called Planet X, and I'm gonna swatch it right in here. Boom, see that? Okay guys, so here are the colors. I want you to see them all in their full glory. You know, it may not be, I'll do like this one too now, oh my gosh. Yeah, some of the colors to me were a bit of a miss. Um, I don't like this one, although I feel like a lot of women could use this one, just for me personally, I don't like it. And um, which one? And this one was kind of weird, but I guess I was like my fault. This one also I didn't like, and this one I didn't like either. But you can see collectively, they're very beautiful colors. You can see that here. But um, overall, for it coming out during the seasonal of like, for it to come out near the holiday season, I could see why they're very festive and colorful colors. But I also feel like a lot of these colors could be used for, for almost like springtime as well. I just feel that way. They're very foily, they're very cute. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what you guys think about it. And if you like, you don't have to, but I very much appreciate you following me on Instagram and that'll be down below in the description as well. So overall, I really do like the palette. I don't think it's the best palette in the world, but I really do think it's a really cool, neat palette. It's something that I'm really excited about because I'm just so tired of neutral palette. I'm so tired of palettes that are just shaped in a square. So this to me, the fact that it was shaped like a little diamond almost. So for me, the fact that it was kind of like diamond cut in a way, and it was really bright colors. I think the price point was really good for it as well. And I really do think a lot of girls would really like this palette and guys too. But above all that, I really wanna know what you guys think about my busted ass watches the house, girl. Oh yeah, so now we're gonna announce the winner for the Elvira Mistress of the Dark makeup palette. What's going on guys? We are gonna choose the winner for the Elvira Mistress of the Dark makeup palette. Oh my god, so spooky. All right, I'm gonna load up the comments here. I already have the uh, UR URL there. I'm gonna hit load comments. So this website helps me pick a random comment. If I remember correctly, the word was dark. So if you wanted to win the, the palette, you just had to comment the word dark. That was a secret word to enter the giveaway. So we have 2,228 comments and 23 pages. And wherever it stops, nobody knows. Okay, so here it goes. It's ready. Um, click button below to pick a winner. So we have picked the most liked recent comment. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do the randomly pick a winner. So I'm gonna click this right here. Hope guys you can see my mouse. And I'm gonna click that there. And so here it goes. Christy Noel, dark. I need this in my life or death. So she was on the eighth page. She was comment number and nine all right so christy noel uh, uh hopefully you can contact me and i will ship the palette out to you this is how i do all my giveaways i think it's fair and everyone gets to see um you know how it's done so yeah so contact me and please if you didn't win do not be discouraged you can try again i do giveaways all the time eventually if you keep trying you will win right all right so i clicked on christy noel's name and it took me here and i could see i know that person i see she's watching video she even liked the video girl yes come on honey all right guys if you like the video smash that like button comment rate subscribe if you didn't like the video send it to your haters so when they watch it they lost 10 minutes of their life they'll never get back all right so next video peace